can really hear the sound. Yeah, you can really hear them, man. Apologize about all the dirt. I did drive three hours to be here. Definitely can tell it has an X pop. Yeah. Yours coming down is like right. Let's do it. Buckle up for safety. How's it feel to sit in a non-race seat for once? It feels super comfy, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, you can't move mine. It's like bolted in one spot. Yeah, I drove Xander's car earlier, and I was literally like this. So different. It, he's got the bigger hoods. Yes. It's a little different. Well, so far it drives like an NA car. Yeah. Like mine. So like like I said, like you'll start out and drive. Yeah. And you'll notice that it's very smooth. Bye bye Mustang. <laughs> so far, man, I can't even feel the uh the gear shift changes. Yeah, they're Lee, like I said, huge shout yeah, out the to Lee. He tuning has is tirelessly on this thing. I mean, we're on probably revision, you know, fifteen or sixteen. Wow. So Okay. You know, I mean we have which we had an issue and he couldn't quite see it because it didn't register. Right. So, but what it was doing is it was just slipping. So when we, when Johnny pulled the clutches, they were burnt. A little that's different. fast, man. That's, that's peppy. Yeah. So you'll, you'll even feel too, because like the manifold works very well in conjunction with how the turbo spool. Yeah. So that like three to 5,000 is a huge swell, but it's, it's very weird. It doesn't, to me at least, it doesn't feel crazy fast. Like yeah. before when my car was NA, it felt like it made 1200 horsepower because it hit so hard and it was so loud well yeah i got traction off now so yeah, that wasn't even on the ground by any means yeah so put it in sport and feel the downshifts just the auto like ah yep so just like stock ah yeah yeah it's like stock the dumps that you've got don't sound too bad they are not awful like i said i gotta move back to like behind the axle yeah like the sport you'll feel it's pretty firm That's fast. Boogies for sure. Yeah, mine are bigger, so it takes a minute. That yeah. was like immediate. Put it in uh, probably like, put it in third first, like with the paddles, and just roll, like just mat it. Those pull. That's so, a nice feeling. The mid range on my car is what's extremely strong. So I lose a little on the top end, you know, without right. having that larger exhaust housing. It's yep. choked up a little bit. But uh, uh, eventually, I do plan to upgrade to some 6266s, which is what they have said is the largest you can fit. Yeah, on so this kit. yeah, your top end is not ever going to be anywhere close to like what mine would be. Yeah, turned up for sure. But for guys that want to run a, t a turbo system like this for the street, 55s, maybe even like 62s, might argue. Oh, I just ran that red light. It was yellow when you left. Okay. <laughs> might arguably be the better size turbo because the spool you can have fun with them more on the street yeah so this is my thing so right. like if the car ever does you know like say a roll racing event like we can talk about that's like you know legal and you know justified so yeah if you want to start at 40 this car is going to trap you know in the low 140s so uh -huh. 40 to 140 this car dead hooks and it's going to get there and you know seven ish seconds yeah so it's going to be you know tough to beat from you know that type of roll race and especially you know if it will hook at the track from a dig especially yep. with no you know two-step no converter nothing like that yeah fully spooled by 3000 should have an inherent advantage the transmission feels good though yeah so i mean like if you want just play with the paddles like it's yeah, it's we'll hilarious like, there. it's stout You got drag springs in this? Yes. Yeah. So we still have a performance front spring of mine. So it's not a specific drag. We have yeah. the Magna Ride. So that uh, we don't know yet. We want to put it on the track and see, 
you know, if we are going to run into issues, I guess. Right, yeah. If it's going to be a limiting factor. But there's been a lot of fast turbo cars with magnetic ride. So maybe it won't be an issue, but, you know, Vikings and a drag spring would ultimately be, yeah. you know, more ideal for straight line stuff. But yeah, the mean, whole car just lifts. It's kind of funny, yeah. yeah. Like I said, from a 40, like a legit 40 roll with some brake boost and stuff, it feels like it does a wheelie. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, giving us a look. <laughs> That's crazy. It's smiling everywhere. Yeah. What are these people doing? I don't know. You can't stop. It's a green light. What in the heck is going on? What are they doing? Uh, what's happening? I can't go around. There's traffic coming. What just happened? Someone else stopped in front of them. What are you doing? Maybe your car. She's on her phone. Wow. Are you in sport mode right there? No, or that was driving? a regular drive. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a little weird. Like, I don't know how the car justifies it. I, I yeah, assume it's it based off throttle. Yeah. But, like, sometimes even in sport, the shifts are just almost seamless. There we go. When it shifts. <laughs> but it's instant. It's instant pickup. I love the way that the whole car picks up, man. <laughs> mine doesn't do that. No, it's I noticed suspension. That. Yeah, it's, the suspension on mine is more street oriented. Is Yeah, the, probably the, the better. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. But see, I noticed even in my, my short drive in your car, it's extremely plush. Yeah. Comfortable as can be. Yes. <laughs> I will tell you, I have not ridden in this car since it's got turbo. It is a different feeling over here. I, I have not yet sat passenger in mine. I'll roll into it in fourth gear here, guys, first. But... Yeah, this is my, my first time <laughs> sitting over here again. There we go. <laughs> yeah. But this thing boogies, man. Oh yeah, my I mean, God. So, obviously, you know, like everyone who's into cars, I wanted a faster car. Felt like I had done what I could do with the all motor car. Yeah. Thought about getting an 18 and then, you know, doing an all motor build on that, but. At the end of the day, I mean, you're still 500 wheel horsepower, so I, am I wanted to get out. Super, and, super impressed with these little 55s. That, like, okay, so now gear it down in a second. How fast are you going? Almost 50. Now 45. Go, right, now second just, gear. Just hit it. It hasn't been on the dyno for a full pull, but from what we can tell from the math flow, it's peaking around 7,300. Okay. Which that's about where the 18 manifold peaks anyway, so yeah, probably you know about right. Whew. This car is a blast. It's fun because, you, like you said, you can have fun with it, and you don't have to be going a crazy speed. You know, like if yours doesn't truly spool up to a 4,000, and those higher gears, I mean, you know, that's double the speed limit. Right. Right. It's fun. It's it's not going to be a record beating car, but you know, like you said, for a street car, well, it's definitely a nine second car. You know, I would like to think, but again, it's it's an untested setup. Mm -hmm. You know, 99 out of 100 people do a converter, but also most people at this power level don't daily do their cars like we do. So. Well, I've been really excited to actually get into a car with an, you know, regardless of the size, just a yeah. twin turbo car with a stock converter. Um, and just to see what the, you know, this is very streetable, it's very fun. Um, and I think that's the target goal that you're actually going for, something Absolutely. that you can enjoy every single day. Mine is a little different, I'm a little bit more race car, maybe with a big converter. I think it's fun in its own way, but definitely something that's Your is converter different. is not as bad as I thought it would be, considering how big it is. No, yeah, Palm Beach really did, uh, they knocked it all out of the park. Rod's with, a great dude. Yeah, man. yeah. He tuned my car when it was in A. Got nothing bad to say about them. Like I said, I just, I just wanted to, um, uh, get it on the dyno yeah didn't maybe necessarily have the funds to take it all the way to florida yeah so you know lee was about two hours for me and he he's done an excellent job on all my friends cars so yeah it was a no-brainer for me so <sighs> things look so good together yeah man these 55s are they're so much fun on the street mine are fun too the way they hit but just for like a daily it's it's a it's a totally different experience like i wish people could like you know how they always just talk like i wish you could smell something you wish the you TV. could smell you wish you could feel it i wish you could feel the difference in like the, the push in right the, in the seat of your pants because like mine's instant and then it kind of just it, that's all it feels like a lot of people 
shy away from turbos because they feel like there's there's turbo lag. It's not that instant feeling. This is more instant. The thing about doing like YouTube mm -hmm. is we get to drive cars like that all the time. I've been yeah. in plenty of Whipple S550s yeah. uh, or supercharged in general, I, I, and I they know. feel just different. But these these feel good, man. I was going to tell you, I have now officially driven every type of uh, power adder on an S550, okay. all the way from nitrous all the way up to big turbo cars. All right. So singles, twins, Pro Charger, Paxton, Whipple, Roush Blower, and there is nothing like the rush of a turbo car. It, yes, it yeah. is different for coming immediately out of low RPMs, but the swell that you get up top is like nothing else. It's a different feeling. It's addicting, honestly. It is. Which I guess, you know, I should say mine is more of a swell in the mid. Mine swells from three to about 6,000. This is definitely a, a back half car in the quarter. So Yours swells from 4,000 to whatever you rev it to. Right. So, yeah, you know. yours is coming in a little, little bit more friendly for the street. This is, uh, when you're going real fast on the highway, this is arguably scary with mine. Uh, so I can only imagine what <laughs> some of those other big turbo cars feel like, but. Nice, it'd be crazy, man. Yeah. Wow. All right. Good day. Yeah, let's walk around real quick. Just one more time. Love these wheels. His is becoming more race car. No exhaust, he's got the dumps, but yeah, your setup, man, especially for what you paid for the kit is it's, it's hard it's, to beat. Yeah, it is, man. Like honestly. I said, I have been bitten the behind a little bit by yeah. attempting to be cheap in certain areas. So I would advise anyone who's even considering doing a boost of any kind, do it right. Pay once, cry once kind of deal. Absolutely. Because you get I've what you cried, pay for. I've cried twice too many times. Yep. I've been there with you. And all right. We're going to go finish up and join the cars. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. They're actually about to lift all the... Like Texas, yeah, the regulations and stuff like that. So this whole mess is about over, and hopefully the racetracks will open up here soon, and then you'll be able to see these guys hopefully head-to-head, -head, put mine in gate pressure or whatever we can do to try to match up power yeah. and just have fun. But, yeah, love it.